guys, today we are going to be recreating an Instagram look that I put up the other day. So I read through a few comments and people, you were saying, hey, can we get a tutorial on this? Today is one of my Arctic Fox employees very last day. Carol, we are going to miss you. So they invited me out for happy hour tonight and I'm definitely gonna go. And I rolled up in the office looking like this this morning and I was like, okay, this is a good excuse to recreate this look and film this. This will be mostly focused on the eye portion of this, but let's just go ahead and get started. I've been using this primer right here by Tarte. It's called the Shape Tape Pore and Prime Balm. I like because it comes with this thing that I've obviously gotten kind of dirty now. Ugh. Proceeds to put it on face, <laughs> you know, like I literally don't care. But it's kind of like almost like a putty paste kind of thing. And watch my pores when this goes on. It just really kind of fills them in and mattifies. With this look, I used a foundation that I've been absolutely loving lately. It has like, every time I walk by a mirror and catch myself, I'm like, whoa, who, who is, is that, that with that skin? skin? I've talked to you about it in a few other videos, but I feel like I haven't really given it its time to shine and it is one of my favorites. Since this is like a darker look, like you guys know, I like to kind of do my eyes first if it's gonna be something that there's like a lot of fallout all over my face because I just don't like to be worried about my base that I just put down. So we're gonna do that today. <coughs> I'm gonna be using the Jouer. Um, oh, this is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. Names these days are so long. As you might notice, I have hair, more hair. I just got my hair done. And I think the video about my tape and extensions is actually gonna be up before this one. So if that's the case, which I think it will be, I will go ahead and link that in the description box for you. I kind of talked about like why I went back to tape and extensions, why I was taking a break. I was talking to my mom yesterday on the phone, like explaining my frustrations about my own natural hair that I was born with that she gave me. And she was just cracking up. Like <laughs> she just loved it. She's like, you need to make a video talking shit and roasting your hair. She didn't actually say that because she's not that cool to say roasted, but you're still cool, mom. There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Okay, so that I, 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 I uh, set the eye area. I'm just using the, I never know what anything's called. God bless me. Um, Huda Beauty Pound Cake. I really like this powder. I've been using it for a while. I'm just doing a really light layer. I'm not trying to like completely jam a bunch of powder in there. The star of the show are two items here. One item that I'm going to use on my eyes today is actually not even for your eyes. And I will call that out when we get there because use it at your own risk. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't come for me. If you get an eye infection, it wasn't me. Okay, this is the palette right here that I used for this eye look. I love this palette. There are so many options that I haven't even like started to use. So from this palette, I pretty much used this one, this one, this one, and that, and that's it. So we'll go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna start by using this one and this one just to kind of cover the whole eye area. And as you'll notice, I'm gonna leave space right above my lash line because that's where we're gonna put that bright shade. So I'm just going to start building this up in kind of a circular shape like so and working it into the crease. I keep the edge, edges like pretty messy of this until I actually am going through to like smooth them out. Build up the pigmentation that I'm looking for and then I'll go back and smooth those edges out with a lighter shade. We gotta take this off. I also have a Morphe code if you guys want to ever get, oh shit. If you guys ever wanna buy Morphe and you wanna save some doll hairs, it'll save you 10% in stores and online. And then I also get like a commission on that. So it helps me out too. Oh my gosh, I just found a shade in this palette that I've never seen before. Oh my God, it matches my backdrop. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've got the general kind of shape and pigmentation that I want, I'm gonna go in with this kind of lighter chocolate shade and I'm just going to start kind of overlapping that here. I wipe off as I go because my brush will pick up some of that darker shade. Then as you can see, that's not really super even. So I go back to the darker shades and I kind of go back and forth like this until this is kind of as seamless as I want it to be. You gotta have some patience for this part. It's gonna be like a painting where it kind of looks like crap in the beginning in the middle <laughs> and then it looks better at the end. I feel like I'm doing like old school tutorials like I used to do where I like walked through like every little step. Okay, gonna leave this like this for now. I always like to kind of sit on my blend. I like to leave it until it kind of comes together a little bit and and then I'll come back to it. So we're gonna do that red that you guys saw that makes blue eyes pop like crazy. 
<clears throat> is the product that is not necessarily meant to go on your eyes. This is a lip liner. I have never worn a lip shade this color, so I just popped it right into my colored liner bin over here. I've got like kind of all these crazy ones. So I do have some lip liners in here. When you wear this on your eyes, you need to, if you're not wearing makeup the next day and you're going out in public, you're gonna look a little bloodshot. It does stain kind of around the eyes and the pink that we're gonna use from this palette. It just is hard to get off and the next day it kind of just leaves a red ring around your eye and yeah so be comfortable with that <laughs> but this is the um la girl shockwave neon lip liner in fiery these are all really great eyeliners i really 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 like them and one reason i like a lip liner on the eye too is because um it's easy to manipulate and move around when, when you're putting powder on it so it's kind of easy to like blur out and like fade out as you want to so i'm just kind of doing a rough line here it doesn't have to be perfect just generally the shape that you want it because we are going to buff that out with a pink shadow. I kind of built this one up and out. I would suggest doing this minimally out here and then building up with mostly the eyeshadow because your eyeshadow does stick to this and this heart, this part here is a little harder to like blend out because it's such a fine kind of line. So just be careful with that. You can always add more, but it's almost impossible to remove. So just remember that. And I think there is like a dye, like the RG whatever in a lot of reds, which is why they're not meant to go near your eyes, which is why a lot of red eyeshadow is actually just pigment. I personally, have been wearing red eyeshadow and red things on my eyes for a really long time and I've never had a problem, which is why I continue to do it. But do it at your own risk or find something that is safe for the eye area because that is not gonna be on me if something happens. I'm just telling you, be careful. Do what you feel comfortable with. Okay, so next I'm gonna be going in with this eyeshadow right here, this pink one. And this is a Sigma Smudge E21 brush, which is a pretty awesome brush for this. First, I'm just kind of laying it on top where we have the product, make sure that we're kind of locking that in place. And then grabbing more product, right where the product line stops, I'm kind of gonna start blurring this, blending it out, just back and forth. Not like this, not circles, but back and forth. Then I'm taking an even smaller brush. This is the Bidelium Tools 710 brush. Dipping that in the product and I'm just kind of using that to keep the harshness of this line. This, I don't know why, but this side is harder for me to do this. Like this one, I can do it just fine. Then from here, I'm gonna build up some more brown kind of right here where we've got a little bit lighter of a shade going on. Okay, now we are ready to talk about this amazing foundation that I've been loving. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This stuff has been seriously so great. Like it goes on really well and evenly and it lasts forever. My skin looks so porcelain with this on. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Oh, shake it up. I don't even know if this is my color right now. I love the finish too. It's like kind of like a satin, like it's not too matte, but it's not too wet either. I always feel like when I'm putting powder over like wet, wet foundation, like it's just like, where did that concealer go? Oh, I'm gonna go back in with the Jouer concealer for the under eye area. I'm gonna go ahead and set this with the same Huda Beauty setting powder that we used. Holy hell. That's so rough. You guys are so lucky you can't smell that through the screen. Shit, I'm lucky you can't smell that through the screen. Going back to the liner, I'm basically going to work this into the lash line and the water line as well. Going back to the pink in our palette, going to lay this on top. And I'm gonna take a bit of our brown and work that into the equation as well. Probably I'm gonna keep this on the outer edge. Taking our tiny little brush, I'm just gonna draw like a little corner wing in here, like an inner, what, do you, what is this even called? I don't even know. 
Okay, so I did my brows off camera and I put some lashes on. The lashes that I'm wearing right now are the 3D Foaming Lashes, uh, Classic Horror Lashes in Dracula by LA Splash Cosmetics. And then um, for my brows, I use the Urban Decay Brow Blade, which is one of my favorites. And then I also use the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. We're gonna contour a little bit with the It Sunshine in a compact Vitality Anti-Aging Matte Bronzer in the shade Warmth. One of the products that I'm about to use too, I like got so crazy with this product. I had no idea how pigmented it was when I put it on, which is why some of my selfies from this day, like the blood, like the bronzer looks freaking like real heavy. I just kind of left it. I was like, oh, I'll face tune it out. Go in slow girl. Cause it is pigmented. And a little bit of nose contour. From here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of blush. This is the Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Berries and Bubbly by Too Faced. We're gonna use this side right here. Okay, so then the bronzer that I used that was so pigmented I wasn't ready for is the CoverGirl Chocoholic Bronzer in Super Stunner. This stuff is pigmented. I put it on when I was doing makeup the other day and I was like, and it just it was like, holy heck, it's like insane. Oh my God, I just did it again. <laughs> Let's soften that line right there. For highlight, I'm gonna be using the Buxom Divine Goddess um, and we're gonna be using the shade Venus. This is a cream highlight. I think this is so, I just love how it just melts into the skin. Going back to our palette, um, when I posted this picture, a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, it's so cute, your nose is red from the septum ring. But um, my septum has actually been pierced since I was about 16 years old, maybe even 15. What I actually used on my nose was the pink that we used on the eyes. And so what I did was I just took some of that on the brush and dabbed some of it off and then went in like this. I don't know why, but I've been seeing people do this lately and I just think it's so cute to have like a little pink nose or like whatever shade is like on your eyes to kind of just add it to your nose. I think it's so cute. Okay, lastly is the lips and I honestly don't remember the exact products that I used for this. I basically just used a mixture of lip liners. I don't even know if I put actual lipstick on. This is NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Nude. And for this look, I really, really overdrew my lips. So we're gonna do the same thing today. And my lips are a lot thinner right here than I'd like them to be. I, so what I like to do is round this out. See, with my lips, I full on round that out. So for lips today, I'm gonna be using two ColourPop lip, uh, lipsticks here. This one is Boy, it's in a really light nude, and this is kind of more of a cool tone nude. And then we have another cool tone nude that is What's Your Sign? And I'm keeping that on the outer edges, and then I'm gonna put this in the middle. The look is almost done. There is one thing missing. Can you tell what it is? The septum. I had someone from Pata Pata Jewelry, I hope I'm saying that properly. She made me a bunch of little septum rings like this. And I think these are mostly to be used if you don't actually have a septum piercing or maybe it's a little bit of both. My septum is still pierced, so I'm going to put this through. She makes some really cute little septum rings. So if you're watching, thank you so much for sending these to me. She sent me a little pack. I wish I had some gold ones because I wear a lot of gold. Um, jewelry and whatnot, but I think this is so cute. The reason why I stopped wearing my septum ring um, is because A, Ryan didn't really like facial piercings and I definitely wasn't taking these out, so I took that one out. I'll meet you in the middle, I'll take the septum out. And then also, um, I kinda would get annoyed with how many rings I had on my nose, like trying to pick my nose was like not fun with tissue paper. But this is the final look, you guys. Uh, I had to do this, film this soon after I did the actual look because I didn't wanna forget what I did and how I did it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if there's any looks from Instagram that you'd like me to recreate. I would be more than happy to do that. I don't know how many more videos I'm gonna be able to film before I'm on the road out to Nashville. We leave on July 4th. Ah! I did film a life update video and I'm just waiting to put that out until it's totally finished. I think that's it. I will link everything for you guys in the description box below if you're interested, but in the comments, you can also leave me a link to the Instagram post if there's like a specific look that you really like that you wanna see. Thanks for being here and give me some of your time. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If not, take it back, make it yours. You can decide how your day goes. I love you guys.